soap star Sarah Jane Dunn, who has hit the headlines for being axed from Hollyoaks. Now, Boss has fired Sarah, who has been playing... Mandy Richardson since 1996 last week after she refused to stop sharing images on the subscription website OnlyFans. In a statement, the bosses of the soap said, we take our responsibility to our young audience very seriously and therefore the show does not allow any Hollyoaks cast members to be active on certain 18 plus websites. But the decision has sparked outrage as this is the same TV show that used to release yearly babes calendars with similar racy content like this. And ironically, Hollyoaks are often the first soap on the box to air episodes promoting female empowerment. So, Sarah, I have to be honest, I've followed the story very closely and it really seems like double standards to me. Well, From the, Hollyoaks, not you. Yeah, of course. The, the reason that I've done so many of these um, sort of uh, more glamorous shoots, should we say, over the years is because of my involvement with the show. It's, mm. it's where I've done most of those shoots. And, um, yeah, the images that I have moved on to OnlyFans are in the same vein. They're no different to images that I was previously posting on my Instagram account. I just decided to switch them over to a different platform and put them somewhere that people that do want to see them can access them and then keep my Instagram more like family friendly and um, so yeah so I was shocked at the the decision and uh, at the way that it, it's gone because this calendar that that Hollyoaks used to put out I mean this was an officially endorsed Hollyoaks calendar and I remember they even used to do particular episodes of of the soap that that was branded like I think it was their after dark episodes wasn't it which was focused on more adult sort of content so yeah. I guess from your point of view you must have thought well I'm not doing any Thing different here. Yeah, exactly. That, and that's been my argument. You know, I'm not doing anything different to what I've done over the years. I'm not doing anything different to what I've been doing, like I say, on my Instagram account for the last four years that I've been back in the show. I've simply just moved to <laughs> the content. So this is where I'm sort of struggling to understand um, why it's become such a big issue for them. I mean, obviously, OnlyFans has the association with it being an over 18s mm. platform, which actually makes it a safer space because it means that the younger audience can't access and mm. um, even though the content I'm doing isn't over 18s mm. it's not explicit like I say it's nothing different so for me it feels like a safer space mm. if they're worried about the younger audience seeing it but I mean a lot of big names are on OnlyFans now I mean there are Olympians on it and and like the rugby player James Haskell and and his girlfriend Chloe Maidley and they do fitness tips yeah. it, it's it's not for most celebrities some sort of adult X-rated website, is it? It's a chance for you to sell content directly to your fans. Yeah. And that content can be anything. Exactly. It can be whatever you want. It's a creator's platform. I mean, the, the clue is in the name. It's only fans. So it's for your fans to follow you, to be able to subscribe, to be able to see exclusive content. But that content is just exclusive to the platform. So, you know, like you say, there's fitness people on there. There's musicians on there. Um, and my content just um, happens to be the content that I was putting out before, but just moved over to that platform. So, so, so it feels like Hollyoaks i more than happy for you to strip off down to a bikini if they're making the money from it. But if you're making the money from it, they don't like it. That's what it feels like is going on here. The thing about this for me was taking back that control of yeah. my images and my content and what I do with them and how I create them. And, and, you know, there is obviously a financial element to that as well. I've not hidden that at all um, and why shouldn't there be you know it's my images I'm putting them together and and why not sort of make money out of that as well but but me be in control of it because I've been so out of control of that my feels like my whole career um, and that's that's what this was about it was empowerment for me and and owning it and, and taking it back but what about people who are going to say Sarah you're mad I mean you are one of the biggest stars of Hollyoaks. You've been in it for 25 years. That's a dream, right, for, for an actress to, to have a role like that. And, and you've essentially been forced to walk away from that. But you could have stayed in the show. You could have taken another contract if you would just shut the OnlyFans down. A lot of people will say, why have you chosen that over acting? 
Well, the choice wasn't to to lose my job, obviously. You wanted to do both. I wanted to do both, and that was the idea. And I'd been doing um, both for the, the, the site. My page had been up for a week before this sort of um, came about. Um, like I say, that was never the, the option. But to make this decision and take back control and own my own power, own my body, what I do with it, mm. to then... So say actually no, I'm, I'm you know I'm going to give the control back. That would have been um, hypocritical of me, and mm. and actually that would have gone against what I because was doing. Because you and felt this was a fundamental now. moral stance. Yeah, a hundred percent. And what's interesting, your husband is fully supportive. Husband, of this family, friends. My husband has been amazing because, like I say, the content isn't any different, um, and we just put it on a, a safer platform for us and a financially better platform for us as a family. So why why wouldn't he be? Do you, feel, do you feel let down by Hollyoaks? I feel disappointed and I feel sad and I will miss terribly the incredible, wonderful, talented cast and crew there that I feel like, well, they are family, you know, I've known them since I was 14. I know, quarter of a century on, on that show. Yeah. Have, they, have they been disloyal to you in a way? After all of the service that you put into the show? What I will say is that I... I hoped for more and I would have expected more and I, I'd like to say I'm disappointed. But this, you know, now gives me the freedom to, to be creative and mm. to do what I want to do. And, and I feel as, as a 40-year-old woman, mum, I have stood my ground and I, and I stand by that. And you've got one hell of a platform now because you've become the most talked about <laughs> soap star in Britain. Crazy, yes. So I imagine quite a few week. other offers have probably been rolling in, right? Yeah, I mean, it's opened other av avenues and other opportunities and... Um, and it's been amazing. Like it's, it's brought a lot of people over to the platform, men and women. Um, and so that in itself has been empowering too.